We have seen AI do so many things that were once impossible to do. And now in a unique development, it's letting people create digital twins. Watch it for yourself. Meet 61-year-old Michael Baumer. When he found out that he was terminally ill with colon cancer, he spent a lot of time with his wife, Annette, talking about what would happen after his death. Annette told him one of the things she would miss most would be to ask him questions whenever she wants. We were sitting here on the couch eight, nine months ago, my wife and I, and we had this typical it's almost time, etc., etc., and talked about anything and everything. And she said, Michael, one of the things I'm really going to miss is that I could always come to you, sit down with you, ask you a question, and you explained everything to me. And that was nice for me to hear your voice and that you explain things to me. It's this conversation that sparked an idea for Bomber. He decided to create an AI-generated voice that would survive him after he passed away. Bomber, a startup entrepreneur, teamed up with his friend Robert Locasio to create his AI digital twin. Locasio is the CEO of Eternos, a US-based AI-powered legacy platform. Within two months, Eternos built a comprehensive interactive AI version of Bomber, the company's first client. The company says its technology will allow Bomber's family to engage with his life experiences and insights. It is among several companies that have emerged in the last few years in what has become a growing space for grief-related AI technology. So how does the tech work? The AI version of Bomber uses an in-house model as well as external large language models developed by major tech companies like Meta, OpenAI and the French firm Mistral AI. We have you say 300 different phrases that capture, I'll call it your emotional voice. So sometimes you say, I love you, or you say, I love you. And they say, oh, the door's open. And we capture all that, and then we compress all that and make an AI out of it. That's, um, you know, it takes about an hour of recording, but it takes about two days of compute to make that into you. And that becomes your voice. That becomes your your talking AI, uh, your essence, I'll call it your essence. Users can further train the AI system by answering questions about their lives, political views or various aspects of their personalities. The AI voice tool that costs around $15,000 can answer questions and tell stories about a person's life without repeating the pre-recorded answers. It can also read bedtime stories and provide commentary on current events by supplementing it with information from models trained on material from the web. Since time has been running out for Bomber, he has been feeding the AI tool German phrases and sentences. While the AI voice bot has some resemblance with Bomber's voice, it still feels artificial. Bomber believes it will only be a matter of time before the AI voice sounds more human-like and even more like himself. Down the road, he imagines that there will also be an avatar of himself and that one day his family members can meet him inside a virtual room. In the case of his 61-year-old wife, Boma doesn't think it would hamper her coping with loss. Although Annette herself is more hesitant about the new software. I think to myself, I would rather be sitting here with his favorite jumper with a wine of glass than feel the need to talk to the AI. To begin with, I think. But like I said, who knows? Think ich. Yeah. Aber wie gesagt, wer wisst schon? 